Hey, I hope everybody had a great weekend. And more importantly, I hope all you moms out there had a fantastic Mother's Day yesterday. Got some nice rest and relaxation. And over the weekend, uh, not a lot going on, particularly in the overnight session. We are seeing some weakness in Europe. We're seeing some weakness in the U.S. markets ahead of the open. Uh, and there's a lot of rumblings right now around a second wave of coronavirus cases. Uh, we're seeing it most notably in South Korea. They've seen a recent surge uh, in cases and there's fear uh, on the street right now that as the U.S. starts to reopen, as Europe starts to reopen, could we potentially see a second wave of cases uh, which starts to pull this economy back even further. So seeing some pressure as a result of that this morning. Not a lot, we're down about a half, half a percent across the board, but there is some pressure. Uh, we're also in seeing uh, flight to the dollar as a result of that, or as you would may expect. So when you look at the currencies, we are seeing some strength in the dollar uh, at the moment. You take a look at that oil market, another 3% to the downside in oil, so continued pressure there, sitting about $24 a barrel uh, in WTI. Now again, remember, we talked about that May 19th expiration date, so leading into that date, uh, where that June contract rolls off the board, we could continue to see an uptick in volatility, uh, particularly to the downside, so something to be aware of. Again, uh, kicking off the week here, not a lot shaken out on the economic front. We had that big April jobs report number on Friday, 20 and a half million non-farm payroll, 14 plus percent unemployment rate. So definitely some weakness out there. Uh, some big headlines continue to make their way out. We've got initial jobless claims coming out this Thursday. You can get in on Nadex and make your predictions today for that. Um, outside of that, a handful of Fed governors uh, speaking throughout uh, the week. Um, and we're still in the midst of earnings season. So we could get those headlines coming out either before or after the market, uh, which could uh, shake these markets up a bit. Hope everybody has a great day today. I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Check in with us on Twitter and Facebook, and we'll keep you updated uh, throughout the trading day. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.